Guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So last episode we finished the church, we got this all built, and it looks really good. Um, pretty impressed with how the design turned out. Uh, the only couple things that I wouldn't mind probably is having it a little bit more, uh, a little more space on the the parts here because we don't have a lot of room for. Um, these little areas and stuff like that we only have like a couple spots up here and it's really short for um what we can actually provide and stuff for our settlers so it would have been nice to have a little bit of a larger area just for the tower but uh, proportionately it looks looks fine the way it is so um the next thing that i wanted to work on was this uh, i wanted to get um a bunch of this uh building done i was actually thinking about design wise and I'm probably not going to go with the roof design that we have right now. I want to um, make an upper floor. And we can store things up on the second floor. Uh, things like tools and stuff. Extra bows or whatever we need. Uh, down on the first floor it will mainly be just um, the workshop area. And we'll probably use this as the... Um, uh, I'm not sure what I want to use that for just yet, actually. So, uh, we could have this as storage as well. I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll figure something out. And as far as this, let's go ahead and remove some of these parts. And we're going to expand this out a little bit, these parts right here. And the reason for that is it'll look better, for one thing. And... We don't need those beams, so uh, we'll just kind of bring this all out a little bit more, and then we can build on top of that. Now, the other thing that I was thinking about was actually having a foundation for some of this as well, uh, using higher end materials like stone brick blocks or whatever. We have quite a bit of uh, limestone now, so we should be able to afford it. Uh, we still have the other church to do, of course, but that, that shouldn't be a huge problem. Um, but, you know, just spending some of the resources on the uh, this building might look a little bit better, too. We'll have at least the um, bottom floor uh, done like this. And then we could do, uh, I don't know, like a uh, the upper floor wood or something like that. We'll see. I don't know. I'll have to destroy all this part that they already built too. Um, just because it's not going to really work with what we have planned.
right, so development is going well for that little building that we have here. Uh, they're just working on the last part of the stone. And um, one of the things that I've noticed with the, um, what do you call it, the people working on the uh, stone bricks and stuff is even though there's a stockpile here which they can basically deliver it to, it's... Um, it needs to be on very high or they just basically don't put it there which is like really annoying because it's sh like if there was a little bit different where they would go to the nearest stockpile of highest priority well I guess they do but like I don't know because if it almost feels like when they're coming from a station like this that are delivering it should be the nearest stockpile for that particular resource so and then basically anything from stockpile to stockpile not workstation to stockpile should be um, basically anything of higher higher priority like of, uh, if it's on like high and they're like okay this is the nearest stockpile then they should deliver it to here and then from this being high um, say this one's very high like it's already set up then it you know animals or other settlers can tra transport it from there that would save like transportation time by a lot especially when you could have like limestone bricks already in here and then producing it I'll probably suggest that on the um, discord server just as an idea but um, just something I've noticed because they they'll actually like deliver it over here but then all these guys have to come all the way over here to get the resources which is kind of a pain to deal with so you would have to like manually switch the uh, mode to high and then dogs will go ahead and pick it up and then transport it which is a thing <laughs> but anyhow um, it's almost finished so oh it actually is just finished perfect all right so yeah that's basically the idea that I wanted uh, for the building I might just tweak some of this a little bit just make it look a little bit different for the roof style something like that maybe and then what we can do is we can start putting our bowers um, place in here we got a little extra loft up here for other additional resources and stuff like that if we need it um, additional I don't know what we'll be putting in this particular building but like up on the upstairs part but you know it will work uh, we'll work on it a little bit more I'm gonna do the floors decorate that first just make sure that they'll
right, so uh, we got the, um, what do you call it, building uh, worked on. Uh, we're still working on it, but uh, it's coming along well. Uh, we got the workshop all set up, so we got the two, two things there. And then I've been putting in these candles uh, for um, the lights and stuff like that. So I figure what we'll do is we'll probably have these on medium for... The actual light um, priority for f refilling and stuff like that. Uh, that way it's just a little bit higher but um, it will still be able to um, have a better uh, chance of getting refilled and stuff like that. Uh, we will need more bees obviously. Uh, we worked on that last episode or a couple episodes ago. So we'll be getting these ready for um, spring as well this will give us uh, something to sell as well as wax that we need for the candles and stuff like that so that's good um with that being said though the the candles don't do as much light level as the torches that's the only downside uh, they do produce some light, but as you can see, it kind of just goes around uh, very dimly around the uh, thing. So, with that, I mean, it's still lit up. It's just it's very gloomy. So, I don't know exactly what to do if I should use a mixture of, like, torches with uh, some candles and stuff like that. But, I don't know. Uh, I have to think on it before I start messing around with it but these are just wooden ones for these uh particular buildings as well i figured um the wooden ones would be fine for this like it's not like a church or anything like that so at least that's the idea and uh upstairs we have an still some space up here for whatever we need i've been slowly stockpiling the um what do you call it these things so we'll have um enough room for additional bows like short bows and long bows and stuff like that so and uh, our deers aren't really breeding that often I'm almost wondering if there's not enough room in this barn for the size of animal I've noticed that the cows are not as much either I think it might be based on how much room there is in the thing but then then, then again the chickens aren't that much either so I don't know there seems to be more of these guys, which is weird, but... Alright guys, so we got this building done. I'm pretty happy with how it looks actually. So it feels very um, taverny with the 
or even medieval really with the uh the, the bottom part with the uh top part and the wood roof um i like the style of it uh the design isn't that bad for the thing i did expand the roof a little bit over onto this side uh just so we could um get the part right here all set up now one of the things that i might want to try fixing is the actual roof part uh, where it connects and stuff like that i'm not sure if there's a way i can go about doing that with um maybe a slant or something like that uh, we might be able to do that i'm not sure um because i would need to put a wall or something in here for that to work but we'll see what we can come up with uh next episode if not then what i'll probably end up doing is just doing the same thing on the other side uh even if we don't like try to utilize the space it would be still pretty good for making the roof a little bit more even but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video i have a discord server if you want to hang out on with the rest of the community you can do that there and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out